So here's part C. Show the rate of change of volume of water. So that's a really long phrase there. Show that the rate of change of the volume of water. So uh, let's, that's, that's just um, dv dt, right? In the container, okay. Due to, evapor due to evaporation, well, that's all we're talking about, is directly proportional, so we're going to do something like that, to the, ex is, so this is kind of like, think about that as some equal sign, it's directly proportional to the exposed surface area of the water. So we're going to write some constant k times the surface area of the water. Well, surface area of the water is going to be, we could, um, we could write the surface area of the water here in terms of r. The surface area is equal just to pi r squared, right? But um, since we've been working just in terms of h, right? Remember our volume equation, which I've, which I've already taken down. Um, our, our volume equation just, just was in terms of just h. So uh, if we wrote our surface area just in terms of h, we would be uh, uh, kind of on our way. We know that R is always going to be H over 2. So let's write the surface area instead as surface area is equal to pi H squared over 4. So this is the, this is the surface area equation. Whoops, this is the surface area equation we're going to be using. You know, I just, I took all that work away and I, should have left it all up. Um, but here, uh, I think we said before that the volume is equal to 1 12th pi h h cubed. And we took the derivative. We found that dv dt is equal to 1 4th pi h squared. And, oh, dh dt, obviously, dh dt. And so here we have, oh, well, Eureka, we have right here, 1 fourth pi h squared, and right there, pi h squared, pi over, uh, I'm sorry, 1 fourth pi h squared is right, right there. So we can say that the, from this, we can say that dv dt is equal to the surface area times d, dh dt. And so that's what we've sort of, we've sort of shown it. This is, um, this is the constant of proportionality. I hope that makes sense. The, the constant of of proportionality. That means that no matter what, at any time, no matter any at any time, the whatever our DVDT, DVDT is, the ratio of DVDT to the surface area is always equal to dhdt, which we told was which we were told is a constant. And this number right here, we're told this is negative three tenths. And in terms of units, also, right, negative three tenths, and this is a dimensional analysis, negative three tenths is centimeters per hour. Well, do we really have centimeters per hour over here? Let's, let's check it out. Um, just think, think in terms of units. DVDT is cent cubic centimeters per hour. And surface area is measured in square centimeters. Ha uh ha, -huh. well, uh, square centimeters and um, uh, it's a, uh, a square centimeters and um, two of the three powers here cancel and we have centimeters per hour. So this kind of dimensionally, dimensionally this kind of checks out anyway. Um, but this is true, okay?